Our adult day program is really a neat program for a lot of our folks. Um, the sky is the limit on what they can do. Uh, we do all sorts of fun, neat activities and outings, and it's for every ability. Um, we have people that are a little bit higher need or have some behavioral concerns. And, you know, we're one of the only programs around here that really kind of take those people and are set up to be able to support them as well as they need supported. Yeah, it was really hard for her father and I during that transition period from high school because she had been in school since, uh, well, all the way up till she was 22. And we just really dreaded the process of transitioning her into the real world. What I have found is that at RT, I can send Carly, I can put her on the van and know that she's going to be cared for as if she was someone's daughter, if, if she was part of someone's family. Um, we came to RT first about three years ago um, when I was offered a job here in Miami County and was considering taking that job. I did do a lot of investigating to see if everything was going to work out well for Beth in order to, you know, make that decision about moving or not. It just had a, I had a really good feeling about the staff, number one, and just about all of the people that we saw. Everybody was having a good time. They were, I remember lots of people were doing exercise class and there was another group of people watching a movie, I think, and, and it just had a good feeling to it. I knew that, um, no matter what we decided that, that Beth would find a good group of people that she could work with here. So every day is different for staff and for the people that we serve. Uh, the day is truly about the people that we serve, what they're interested in, places that they want to go, and experiences that they would not get if it wasn't for us in our program. Oh, RT for Alicia is everything. It is absolutely everything. This is her world. This is her ability to have her own friends, her own routines, her own everything, where even though she's incorporated into, especially now that she's living with me again, she's incorporated into a regular family life and we still do things that, that every other family does, this is Alicia's way to have her stuff. It's just really nice as a mom, of, especially of, of a nonverbal child, you know, that um, she can't really tell me what she did during the day or, or how her day was, but she's very, she's very good at nonverbal communication so that I know when she has a good day and when she doesn't. And I know that the staff gets her. They really bring out, I think, her personality and, and her, herself. So for me personally, I have been here for a little over 10 years. Um, and I've always worked with the people that had behavioral concerns and medical needs, and that's where my passion is. I find it very rewarding, and it's very important for me to advocate for those people because it's very easy for them to get missed by a lot of people and for people not to think they're just as important as the other people that we serve. I can't tell you how grateful I am for the care that you give Carly every day. It means so much to us to know that she's in a safe place and that she's being cared for by people like you that really love her and are willing to work through, work with her and work her through some of her, her, her trials. I really appreciate it so much. Thank you for making Alicia feel loved, making her feel important. She surely would not like to come here every day if she didn't feel that way. And also for helping me learn too. Every encounter has kind of taught me something too, which has allowed me to be a better sister to Alicia, a better person, and even when I, when I have my own career, a better, a better nurse as well. RT for this community is an absolutely valuable resource and an asset to this county, to this town, to this area. I think it's a, it's a great place to be.